Welcome to Education for Next Generation. Myself, Mrs. Mini Saji, today going to tell you about that our 10th class biology topic, which we call it as reproduction. Reproduction, that the generating system. What is the meaning of this word reproduction? Reproduction, as we told that reproduce. So in this process, it is the one of the most important life process in all that plants and animals. As we know that by this process only plant, plants or animals undergoing for a mode of reproduction and producing a new offspring of their own same kind. So offsprings which are formed here they are either identical to their parent or they may have some variation from their parent. So we can say that organisms are capable giving rise of springs organisms are capable to giving rise to offsprings of their same kind or some variant by the process called reproduction. So here we can see that all the living organisms whether they are unicellular or multicellular they opt different different methods of reproduction broadly. We are classifying reproduction as two types which we call it as a sexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. What is the difference between sexual and asexual mode of reproduction? Asexual mode of reproduction, only one organism is taking part for producing the offsprings. Here we can see two animals or plants parts are there which are undergoing for this process like male gamete and female gamete undergoing for oxidation and produce that offsprings. Now let us see an example of paramecium. Paramecium undergoes mode of reproduction for different kinds of environment in different way. When conditions are favorable paramecium undergoes Paramecium undergoes binary fission, the body of animal, it divides into equally half and nuclear content is also divides, it is also pulled and they also divide half and half and both sides they are moving half and half nuclear content. And this way the animal itself is dividing into two small daughter cells form. So this kind of mode of reproduction in which that single organism by splitting its body itself is divides into two genetic content also elongates and it divides equally and distributed equally in the daughter cells such kind of reproduction we call it as binary fission. At the same time paramecium can go for a sexual mode of reproduction if conditions are not favorable. When conditions are not favorable two paramecia conjugate at the ventral groove sites where their oral cavities are present in that site 
and exchange of genetic material takes place. To paramecia come close in such a way there are their oral group sites they join, they make a association, they conjugate and they exchange their genetic material. So in doing so that we know that paramecium has one micro nucleus and one macro nucleus is present. Micro nucleus is going taking part in sexual mode of reproduction. That macronucleus it's degenerate because it is vegetative and metabolic function it of that. So once these two paramecia come close, there is a dissolution of pellicle, this membranous sheath, and the cytoplasm will be joined as one. It's like a cytoplasmic bridge form it act. One of the micronuclei is present, macronuclei degenerate and it undergoes division and forms four nuclei. This three will degenerate and only one is left. This one again divides and forms two nuclei. One behave like male and one behave like female. So usually females and nuclei are stationary nuclei. Males migrate and exchange of genetic material takes place. So it is a one of the mode where simple by exchanging the genetic material that reproduction completes. So here again that along it or you can say macronuclei will regenerate here and this paramecia is completing its sexual mode of reproduction. By this two examples let us see and analyze that asexual and sexual mode of reproduction asexual mode of reproduction only one organism is taking part in that here we can see two organisms are involving in this mode of reproduction and they forms the gametes and gametes fusion after only zygote is formed and or the new organisms which has both the parental characters here they are identical to their parent there is no change structurally or genetically no variation in that it is done by the mitotic division. Here we can see that it is undergoing here the organisms go for meiotic and then mitotic division. It is considered as a more beneficial, beneficial one due to the evolutionary aspect and here it is a stationary only. The same characters will be thousand generations after also they will be having the same number of characters. So this is considered as more better than this kind of mode of reproduction that we have seen through the paramecium exam. Now let us see this activity where we know that about formation of bacterial colony in milk. As we know that lactobacillus bacteria which are present in the curd, if we add in a hot milk a few drops of lactobacillus which is present in that curd that in the milk and we need to stir it properly and if we keep it for a few hours we can find it that this milk will convert into that curd. This is the normal procedure which we know that and it every day in our home we do this. So what happens, what is the difference which we will see that when a hot milk or in cold milk two we are taking and the same quantity of curd we are adding in that. Which one will in that curdling will be fast? Can you guess it that? Hot milk in that curdling process will be fast because it gets the temperature in which the bacteria can multiply very fast. So within few hours we can see that this curd will con this milk is converting into curd. But as we see in cold milk, cold milk if we are using the curdling and we stir it and keep aside, we can find it, it takes some more time. So we can see it this after few hours as that how the curd is formed. Now let us see this both here after few hours we have taken this so where cold milk we have chosen cold milk in that still milk is stirring you can find it here it is still it is same but this one here curdling starts you can find that curds formation in this settlement of the protein you can see that and fats will be separating from that milk 
So here we can see that both of these conditions you can see here. So hot milk in this curdling will be fast than the cold milk. So we, can, we know that by this the different organisms they have different timing for that reproduction as well as some of them in favorable condition they will be going very fast for reproduction. Here we can see the lactobacillus bacteria multiplies much faster in that the first hot milk which we have taken and second one which is a cool milk here still we didn't see the curdling start. So this is the one observation we can see in both. Let us see this one. As we explained you have about that the hot milk in this curdling is fast and here it is still it curdling didn't start. So because low temperature in that rate of respiration will come down for that bacteria and in low temperature multiplication also will be slow. But in till hot temperature or optimum temperature you can see the bacteria multiplies very faster and it helps in curdling of milk. So here the lactobacillus bacteria helps in the converting the milk into curd and this process is known as curdling process. Now let us see that some asexual modes of reproduction. As we know that asexual